Today's smart wood shop quick tip is making these threaded knobs with some scrap plywood and a quarter twenty nut. I'm Ron Polk and this is the smart wood shop. If you want to get a set of plans to build a smart wood shop for yourself or one of my workbenches, link in the description of this video down below. I've set up today to build my second smart router table and fence. And I got all the hardware out because I'm videotaping this and I want to demonstrate exactly how to build it because there's a set of plans and this is a tag along video so it can be watched by the people to get the plans and know exactly how to do it. And I wanted to demonstrate uh, all of the hardware it takes so I have everything ready to go here. I didn't have any knobs. I had ran out of the knobs that I show in the plans. And so I went over and grabbed my other router fence and I robbed the knobs off of it again just to shoot the video. But I'm going to need the the fence and the router to actually make uh, this router fence. And so I want to put it back together and putting the knobs on and taking them off a couple of times for sake of the video uh, would take a little bit of time and I have to break things down. So I thought well I'll just quickly make the uh, six knobs I need so I can put this back together and use it. And really it just requires um, a piece of scrap 18 millimeter ply and then one quarter 20 nut per knob. So a quarter 20 nut is just pennies and that's really your only expense. These knobs, I get them online pretty inexpensive. I get the big ones for less than a dollar a piece and the small ones for about 50 cents a piece. But if I ran to the hardware store, even the big box stores, they charge a few dollars, two, maybe even three dollars for the larger ones and about a dollar and a half for the small ones. And so I, you know, I don't want to pay those exorbitant prices, especially when, again, I can make it in the shop with, I keep a whole bunch of quarter 20 nuts, plus I don't have to go to the store. Now I'm going to use uh, four different drill bits to make each of these. And so there's a process you want to drill in a certain order. The first hole I want is the flat bottom hole that the nut will be tapped into. So it's a slightly smaller than the nut itself. I find that 7 16 seems to work pretty well. So I'm just going to eyeball the center again. This, this is going to fix the point of where I drill everything else. And I'm, I'm going down, I'm estimating the depth just looking at the, at the, as I drill down, I'll just look at it with eye. So they probably won't even all be the same. But basically I want to be able to tap the nut down so that it's at least flush with the wood, maybe a little, it won't matter if it's a little bit further. I don't want to go too far because I'm going to be pulling against the wood that's left and, and that would weaken the knob if I were really cranking on it. You could also use a Farsner bit for this. I don't have this size. Now that I've drilled those holes, the pilot bit for the hole saw cannot quite reach down in there into the bottom of the hole so that I can center it. So I'm going to just temporarily change out the pilot bit for a little bit longer one. Sometimes you can just pull the existing bit out a ways. Depends on what, what type of uh, bit it is. This is a one that's pretty much seated. I can try that. I'll just pull it out a little bit and see if that works. Still. Uh, the Allen screw still catches. And I'm not going to drill all the way through. I'm going to finish this, uh, the hole saw cut from the, I'll flip the board over and finish from the other side. And now I want to drill the uh, quarter inch hole all the way through and that's where the bolt will go through and thread into the nut. And then the next thing to do is to tap the nut down into the hole. I just thread one of the bolts in and 
tap it in. You could also, for extra durability, you can mix up a bit of uh, epoxy and put that in the hole. You just need to be careful because you don't want to get it in your threads. And if you thread the bolt kind of all the way through so it reaches into the hole, it helps center up how you drive in the nut. Ready for assembly. For me, I'll stick with buying the knobs and keeping them in stock. But in a pinch, this works great. Hey, if you like these woodworking tips, if you've learned anything, if you'd like to see me make more, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember to ring that bell when you subscribe. That's the only way YouTube will let you know when I put up a new video. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.